नमस् शिवाय स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास इन दिस क्लास वी विल स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर फ्रॉम द हिस्ट्री टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ क्लास एट एंड द चैप्टर इज वेन पीपल रिवेल एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन एंड आफ्टर इन द ईयर एटीन फिफ्टी सेवन कंपनी फेज द ग्रेट रिवोल्ट इन इंडिया विच वॉज स्टार्टेड बाई सोल्जर्स बट सपोर्टेड बाई ऑलमोस्ट ईच सेक्शन ऑफ द सोसाइटी सो इन दिस चैप्टर we will try to understand the causes and effects of this revolt that is the revolt of 1857 actually there are several reason for this revolt if you remember in the previous chapter we have learned that how did the policies of the company affects the sec, uh, affects the each sections of the society such as kings nawab peasants landlords tribes and soldiers they all were badly affected by the company's rules and policies so now let's first discuss how these people were affected by the company's rules and policies so the first is nawabs lost their power once the english east india company established their control on india um, almost from the mid 19th century nawabs and the rajas started losing their power and authority the company uh, had reduced their freedom disbanded their tax revenue and territories many ruling families such as uh, like Rach- rani lakshmi bai of jhansi they tried to oppose the company's oppressive policies but they were mostly defeated and murdered nana saheb the adopted son of pa- peshwa bajirao too pleaded that he should be given his father's pension but the company refused to recognize his rights and in 1801 company forcefully annexed awadh on the ground of misgovernance the company also began to plan to curb the power of moguls or mughal rulers like the name of the mughal king was removed from the coins which was minted by the company and in the year 1849 the governor general dalhousi announced that after the death of bahadur shah zafar the mughal family would be shifted from the red fort actually the red fort was the residence of the mughal rulers since centuries in the year 1856 the governor general kening decided that bahadur shah zafar would be the last mughal king after him the next mughal ruler will be given the title of prince not the ruler so these all steps taken by the company have challenges the authority of the rulers in india now let's see the effects on the peasants and the sipahis in the countryside peasants and zamindars gradually lost their land due to the uh, high taxes of uh, of of the land and the rigid methods of the revenue collections in the army indian sipahis were unhappy about their pay allowances and the condition of services and in the army european soldiers were given all the privileges but the indian soldiers always faced faced all types of discrimination and some of the new rules violated their religious sentiments like uh, during those day it was believed in indian society that if they crossed the sea they would lose their religion and caste so when in 1824 sipahis were asked to go to burma they refused to go through sea routes but agreed to use land routes since many were severely punished for not following the order but this issues continue so in 1856 company passed a new law which says that uh, who want to work for the army they have to agree to serve overseas if required and many of these indian sipahis were peasants and their family lives in the villages so they also reacted to what was happening in the countryside so the anger of the peasants also spread among the sipahis another major causes for the revolt was the responses to reforms 
actually the british believed that indian society had to be reformed so laws were passed to stop the practices of sati and, and to encourage the remarriage of widows and english language was also actively promoted by the company and indian methods of teaching learning were completely ignored so these reforms in society or these reforms in social and educational structure also anger the people as people have seen these reforms as a interference in their personal and social life and to get a glimpse of what people were thinking those day about british rule uh, two study sources is given in your book as you can read here the first study source uh, that uh, when a brahman named vishnu bhat was going to kashi from maharashtra in the mid of his journey he met with few soldiers and they told him not to move further on the journey because a massive upheaval was going to break out in 3 days he had exactly written the words what the sipahi told him uh, in his book Uh, which you can read here there is another account we have from the memoirs of subedar sitaram pande who was a sipahi in the army he served the english army almost 48 years and retired in 1860 he helped the british to suppress the rebellion though his own son was a rebel and killed by the british in front of his eyes and after the retirement he wrote his memoirs and some um, some portion of his writing is also given in the book which will help you to understand the condition of the people at the time of the revolution the revolution of 1857 so these were some contemporary writings of the revolution which you can read in our next class we will discuss about a mutiny becomes a popular rebellion so till then take care of yourself namaste bye